my name is Marcus and my part in this project is to design an effective hover cot chassis. Our first design is a prism, which is essentially a rectangular prism, which would be the form of a lasagna tin. Uh, the first pro is that it internalizes everything, like our fans and batteries and just our components in general. The second pro is that it adds extra volume and weight, which, it, which counteracts our very powerful fans. And our third point is that we did not find this in research at all, so it's original. Our second design is a flat design, which would basically be a cardboard sheet or something like that. The pro is that it would be smaller and therefore less weight, which means uh, we can go faster. It's more stable because it's lower to the ground, lower center of gravity. All right. The third design would be applied to either the prism or flat, and it's called the dinghy, which is essentially is just a cutout, like triangle cutouts of the prism or flat design, which would essentially make us more aerodynamic. So in the end, we decided to go with the prism design, one, because we already had a lasagna tin, and two, it was just simple. My name is Andrew, and I was in charge of creating a skirt design for our hovercraft. And the problem I had to solve was to create an effective skirt that would lift the hovercraft as well as keep it stable while in motion. The first design that we came up with was the full base design, which would use a trash bag for material, and the trash bag would be attached to the craft around the edges right here, and it would cover the entire bottom of the, of the craft. We, just, we thought about pinning it at the center to counteract the ballooning effect, which would make it a little bit less stable. So pinning it would make it more stable. And one of the benefits of this design is that it would be very simple. The second design we decided on was the outer ring design, in which the trash bag material would be attached around the inner and outer edges of the perimeter of the bottom of the craft. And with this design, we would have semicircular slits all along the inner edge of the trash bag. And a con of this, of course, is that it's a lot more complex than the full base design. But we did find this a lot in our research, and it was one of the most frequently used for practical hovercrafts. And it would give a lot more stability to the craft. Our third design is the solid state skirt, in which we would use the volume under the overturned lasagna tin to contain the higher pressurized air. This would require, of course, no extra materials besides the lasagna tin, and it would require no work, but it could have potentially not have enough lift to keep the hovercraft in the air. So when deciding on what design to implement, we started with the solid state skirt because it required no extra work and materials. And we found that when testing the hovercraft prototype that it was fine with just the solid state skirt, it would lift and it had enough stability. So we decided to just go with the solid state skirt. Hello, my name is Mino Smith, and I was faced with the challenge of coming up with an effective steering mechanism for our hovercraft. And we came up with two designs, a one fin and two fin rudder mechanism, and I'll explain the one fin to you right now. So it uses horizontal stabilizing bars to help house our one rudder in the center of the steering box. And that is controlled via a servo that is mounted at the top, and a rigid metal control bar, which is essentially like a thin, almost like a wire hanger bar that will attach to the back of the rudder and from the servo and allow it to steer when the servo rotates. This gives us a rigid control unit, so it helps our steering be more accurate. It gives us a simple servo connection, being this bar we can just bend it and work it right through a hole in one of the fins on the servo. And it also gives us less moving parts than the second option, the two fin, which is over here. The two fin mechanism uses, as I said, two separate fins. Uh, that come off the back of our steering box that are each controlled with a rigid stabilizer bar, kind of like that wire hanger bar, and then it would be bent on the outsides with string connectors going from two separate opposite fins on the servo. So as the servo rotates, it will pull one fin and go slack to the other side, therefore pulling the entire mechanism, angling it one or either direction. And this um, gives us, it's a little simpler to construct because we don't have to do the horizontal connections. For the horizontal stabilizer bars, we actually have internal points of contact for our fins. It also funnels all of the air versus this one fin design, which only funnels half of the air, or only manipulates one half of the air coming out. It also is more robust because those horizontal stabilizer bars are very difficult to get in there rigidly using the materials we're using. 
and in prototyping and testing we found this to be a problem. A lot of the non-moving parts on our one fin decided to move, including our uh, solid control bar. It began to bend and those horizontal stabilizing bars came out. So through testing we decided to finally go with the two-fin design of our hovercraft. On Fed Day, I'd say that we did a great job. If you asked anybody who competed or anybody who was there, they would probably say we got second place because that was the consensus among the participants. But for whatever, for, for whatever reason, the judges believe we got fourth from last. We, we're still waiting to find out what happened there. As for what we would do differently if we had a do-over, I would personally want to make a smaller hovercraft. Our hovercraft ended up being close to four times the size of the average hovercraft and over double the weight. And I think that kind of nipped us in the butt because obviously there's more, more hovercraft that we need to, to haul with our power. And lastly, for future freshmen, I would recommend that they explore multiple designs before committing to one. We did explore multiple chassis designs, rudder designs, uh, skirt designs, but we never really talked about you know, a smaller hovercraft, a larger hovercraft, and things of that nature. And that was primarily our biggest downfall.